And we look like we're live. Very nice. So if that started weird, I apologize, but there's not too much I can do. So we're going to try this one more time. If some of you caught it, I tried this earlier today. What I am doing, I am recording it this time, so if I have to upload it again, I will. So I don't have to do the same thing as before and redo the whole video. Good times, welcome everybody. So, um, today we're doing Filament Fridays. I know it's Saturday. I got the memo, so a little bit late, but this is something hopefully we're going to start trying to do every Friday or every other Friday as much as we can. We'll try to do it live if I have to record it over. But remember, all the links are in the description. Well, they should be. If not, they'll be after the stream. Or maybe not, unfortunately, after the upload. And we're going to talk about protopasta's filament. Um, protopasta has a very, very nice filament here. Right now, what you see on the screen, uh, printing is something that I'm going to do next week. It's going to be a little top five, best of kind of, kind of, um, I don't want to give it away. It's going to be like another top five thing. I had like an idea and I like it, so make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Because there's going to be a lot of them if it goes over good. Because some of the top five ones I did so far were doing pretty good, yay and nay. And um, I'll say in the beginning of the videos that, you know, it's my opinion. And I think some people think one of the videos was like an end-all be-all. It's not. It's just an opinion. <laughs> Alright, so what's printing now is not post pasta material. That is uh, Pusha's Gray. First thing I did was I checked out Protopasta. I got a sample pack for it, which should you follow on Twitter or Instagram. You saw I was running out when I was trying to get it up. This is the first thing I did. This is, um, yeah, this is Yoshi. I don't know. Did that focus? Did that focus? No, or we'll focus on there. Let's see. There you go. That's kind of. That's a poly. Yoshi by Flotastic. Flo, Flo, Flotastic? Let's just go with that. The link's in the description if you if you want to check out his work. He makes really cool models. I found them yesterday and the day before. When I started, the, yeah, yesterday, yesterday morning, when I started printing these things out, well, the day before, like Thursday night, when I started printing these things out, I'm like, wow, these are some pretty cool models. Um, clear. This is kind of transparent. You can see the the lines because I only did a 10% infill to try to save material, which is pretty solid now. But the one thing, if you print it smaller, you lose a little of the strength. You got to be very careful with all the silly Donkey Kong, which looks awesome. I made him like, um, I made him only on 10, how's that money? Yeah. I made him like 10%, and he looks cool, but the insides of him, you can see how bad the infill is, but only being 10% infill, so you gotta be careful with that. But, um, my goal was to check this out and see if, if I believe this could be the, one of the best filaments for the Prusa i3. I know there's tons of ones that are good, and the i3 Mark II works great. But I was really impressed with their filament. It was like, you know when you do a filament, you're like, oh, I had it sitting there for a while because I kind of got it just before the printer came. I built it all, did everything, and I'm like, I have an idea for this show, Filament Fridays. <clears throat> and I finally got, after all this, I finally got it. And hopefully this video will delete. If not, I'm, I'm recording it at the same time, so hopefully that doesn't produce any lag. It looks like everything's going fine. But um, the cool thing about this filament is that it's just like, it comes out like almost perfect. It had no problems with it. It was just a sample of it. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out. Get a sample if you want. I think it was like 4 or $5. You know, Porta Pasta is not like, you know, didn't give me the sample. I wish they could, but they didn't. <laughs> I picked that up and I picked up, um, also I picked up a nozzle. A plated nozzle. It's, it's from Micro Swiss. 
but um, I think it'll fit right into my uh, V6 hot end. Um, if I'm sure or not sure, I'm not really positive. But um, considering, I, I think it went great. The one thing I tell you, if you print 60%, you print these um, poly models small, and with only 10% infill, you gotta be careful with stuff with the feet. This one foot broke off because I kind of just ripped it off like I do with everything. But I've been doing 20 or 30% info, which I think is way too much. And I'm wasting material. But you have to pop them off gently. So I got a couple of things to compare it to. And we also did a little Marvin that's off the SD card of um, the Pusha thing. I'm pretty sure you can find it on Thingiverse or something. I'm not sure. If I can figure out where to get them from, I'll, sh I'll show it. And we got some data ranks too. I couldn't do another thing of the Yoshi. I didn't have enough time. Because Yoshi took a little time because it's 100%. It takes um, two or three hours or something. And that's what was holding me up last night because Yoshi took so long and then the other prints took even longer. And then this morning I started doing the battering. <clears throat> Sorry. Which um, I got 93% of the way done and it stopped on me. If you saw some pictures on Instagram and on um, Twitter, looks nice though. It came out really good. I think when I, sh when I did this video the first time, if you look here, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Like it's missing the layer line, right like the top layer. But this is how like the models look. Because um, you'll see the 10% info because it's like translucent, you can see right through it. And um, on camera, it doesn't pick it up too much, like on Donkey Kong. You can't really tell because the way the light shines on it. But um, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm trying to see if I can flick it a certain way so you can see it, but you really can't. But it came out really nice. And the same thing with Yoshi. You can, see, you can see the inside, like it's kind of like a skeleton structure, you can just see the info. Which is cool, but, but if it was a solid piece, you wouldn't see that. So, you know, other than that, it's, it's really strong. It's just be careful if you print it smaller. Because then you can lose a foot. Which I didn't lose on this one, because same thing, I just took it off a lot, like very carefully. I didn't go crazy with it. You can see how, like, you can't see any of the lines. But this ain't protocol, so this is, um, this is filament from, um, Prusa. Which is, of course, really nice works with the machine. So, the couple of things I want to show, and hopefully this works out right and I won't delete anything. We'll do like a side-by-side -side kind of thing, because we got a little bit of... So this is the, the robotics, which we're going to do another video on that for the film on Friday. Look at that. Like, that came out really nice. And then we also got the one that's almost done from the protopasta. Robotics AIO is really not that bad. It's a little cheaper filament and it seems like it's working great, but we'll talk about that another week when we do some more stuff. If you put if you put these two, can I just do this maybe? And we'll just keep it off this for a little bit. If we would put these two side by side. You can see like the tolerances and how tall they are and how they look are pretty close. You know, some of the speeds are a little bit different. Um, everything that I use on Protopasta, they're at 215 and it looks like they came out great. Uh, 215 temperature on the nozzle, 10% uh, infill on everything. And um, what was some of the other stuff? Let me pull up so I can show you some of the other stats. Um, 0.15 layer height, wall thickness was at 0.8, fill density at 10, um, temperature is 215, the bed was 55, which are most of the bottles, the um, everyday natural filament. You can see that. Left or right, I eventually get it. It's um, 190 to 230C, which 215 works out pretty good. You can do 205. I think the Marvin was 205. But sometimes with filament, I've been getting a little strain if I go down. But if I keep it at 215, it's worked out great every time. A heated bed is not required for this, but it's okay up to 70 degrees Celsius. But um, 55 has been working great. So it's kind of like one of those things, whatever works great, just keep it. Don't, don't mess with it. If it's not working great, don't mess with it. But um, we hit 68 subscribers. Also want to say thank you so much. That's, that's huge already. You see that see that bad boy looks, looks cool right it came out so awesome and with the protopasta you know granted I wish it was in a color so you can see a little bit better 
But, um, I'm trying to see if I can make it focus on it. Autofocus just is not working today. It's not my friend. But, um, that's the one thing about doing it live. Doing it after the fact, I probably could have got really nice pictures of these. But it's more of my opinion and what you guys think. If you have other things that works great with the uh, original Prusa i3 Mark II, please let me know. Um, with Marvin, you can really see, it looks like it's almost messed up. If you can get it in there. I'm trying to get it to see if I can focus on my finger so it'll show that better. But uh, he came out really good. Let me try this one real quick. Not really. Focus is definitely a big issue on us. Let me see if we can focus the, the little camera somewhere. Settings. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay. Advanced. Do I have autofocus? Auto focus is on. Let's take it off. Let's see if we go like this, right? Can I mess around with the focus a little bit? That's not too bad. You can kind of see the lines a little bit if you look closely. I gotta figure out how to do this better. But if you, if you look at it, then maybe if we mess around with the exposure a little bit. Nope, nope, that's too, way too much. It's way too much. Too, too much, too much. That's a little darker. But you can kind of see them a little bit better. But not too bad. So let's check the, let's check Donkey Kong out. So we get a better look at Donkey Kong. Yeah, you see how the, you get like the cross hatching? And that's just the infill because you can see right through these pieces. Which also really does come out cool though. So you can see that right there. That cross hatch right there. That's just the 10% infill going through. So we kind of get a better look. Let's, let's see how Yoshi looks now. Like, Yoshi just looks smooth, man. Like, a little sanding, and he's, like, 100% smooth. Because he feels smooth. He don't feel that rigid, to tell you the truth. The one, the, um, point .15 layer lines really hooked up, hooked up. I raised it up. I was going to do it at 1 to see how good they can come out. But, um, it was taking forever. So I just couldn't do it. I get a pretty good... Look, see, you can see the cross hatching good in that, because it's missing the top layer. But it's really smooth to the touch. It came out great. I mean, you see how the how the black looks on the Prusa. I guess this overall looks really cool. You see the like if it was a full color better. But overall, it's really really works out. Let's um let's go back to this and talk a little bit more. Let's put it back on auto and auto focus. Yeah, okay. We'll just put it all back to autos. Okay, alright, cool. So that's going to be something coming up next week. Um, looking at Protopasta. Very, very excited about doing um, doing more videos for them. The one big thing I'm going to do probably next week, and I'll make a thing to show you how to change the nozzle. I thought that would be a pretty good video. Changing the nozzle could help out, like... Well, play the nozzle help out with a, lot, a couple more videos I want to do with like some flexible material or something that has, you know, like um, some, I got metal, I think metal, gun metal? I don't know if that has any actual metal in it. I think it's just a colored gun metal. But I have some like stuff with like metallics and stuff coming. So I'll try to get sample pieces because I can't afford to get like the whole thing, right? <laughs> but um, I'm trying to make the film on Fridays kind of cool. So if you enjoy it, if you give me ideas, I got stuff of rich ink coming. Which, if you look at their story on their site, is really, really funny. Uh, the same thing with the Polo Pasta. I like their stories. That's what, like, when I'm looking about the page and read it, 
maybe I'm just like a little bit of a sucker, but I like I like people that have like down to earth stories, and those two companies really had some nice stories. So I was having like tons of fun with them. And um, if there's comments coming, I don't know if this thing's broken or not, so please don't even worry about it because I know there's people in here. And hello everybody, thanks for the subscription, thanks for the likes, everything. It really helps out a lot when you guys like videos and help out. Oh, we got a comment that came through finally. Uh, what no nozzle are you using now? Yeah, yeah, it's a normal .4 nozzle that I'm using right now. That I came with, it's just a regular brass nozzle. But um, this is a .4 too. I want to get a 3 or a 3 and a half, uh, 2.5. 0.25. <laughs> uh, but I might get the fun pack soon. I might do that. The new nozzle is a, is a point, yeah, well, you probably just heard it, right? It's a point four, And um, I know it's the same exact thing, which probably I should have, like, thought a little different when I thought of that. But it's from Microsource, and it's a pleated nozzle. But I think they ran between 10 and $15. So I figured, ah, I'll pick it up. I was going to get a harder nozzle, but I'm still in between of which one's actually better. I know the harder nozzle is more, so I'm guessing it's better. But I don't know. I still got to do some tests with it. I wanted to get a harder nozzle too, but I want to try to get like a 2.5 to see if I can get like a little um, more detail out of some things I'm planning on printing soon. Because um, there's a lot of cool stuff. Like the Donkey Kong came out great. The Yoshi came out pretty cool. I don't want to do like stuff like that, but Battle Ring that I do like every single time I do something, it came out great. Which I, I ran out of filament on this. And Marvel came out cool. But with this, we're going to have a filament Friday every week. We'll try new filaments out. Might get the Maker Box. I was talking about that earlier. And um, this is just going to be really quick. I hope that it saves. Because I did this whole thing earlier today and nothing saved. It drove me crazy. But um, we are, when we approach 100 subscribers, we definitely have something kind of cool coming. And I hope you guys will like it. I got like a plan for it already because we're like in just a couple of weeks we're we're going okay. I'm not breaking any walls or setting any records, but we're doing okay. And we got a couple of cool videos next week coming out that hopefully will um, help with that. But um, right now, how we're doing? Um, I'm liking how this print's coming out so far. I was talking about maybe doing a group. Uh, um, group. This is a baby group that has tons of, like, controversy, but I downloaded it when it first came out, so I probably can't share that download link, or the download link don't even work anymore. But I was thinking about doing that next week. I got some other things I'm working on, stuff with uh, BB-8. There's a little, a couple things I still have to print out for him, but it's coming out really cool, so I have, like, a little top five of Star Wars things coming out, which will hopefully, you know, be kind of cool. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll definitely put the no the link for the novel. It's, if you go to Protopasta, right? If you go to Protopasta um, and just look up the um, the 0.4 millimeter nozzle, because the link for Protopasta is in there, but I'll put the link to actually, right on the Protopasta, I'll put the link for that right after the stream, because it'll take a couple of seconds to find it. But um, this is actually pretty good, and hopefully do this on Monday. I'm going to have, like, a Makeup Monday kind of day, and we're going to do upgrades to the machine. We're going to do new nozzles, stuff like that. Um, we, I have a bunch of little stuff I want to put on the machine, so I might do that as a as a little upgrade video. After this is done, then I got a really long print. That's the bad thing about only having one printer, is that everything takes time. That's why I filmed my Fridays coming out on Saturdays instead of Friday, because I couldn't get all the prints done in time. But thank God I had no failures. Protopasta came out with a really good filament. I like this P, the natural PLA. It's everyday PLA, natural. It's cool. I would probably go with a color though. Like this is not bad, it looks great, but um, unless you're okay with higher infill, or um, you definitely get a paint it or something, which, you know, either way it could be kind of cool. I got so much stuff I want to show, but uh, I don't want to show it because I want to leave it for surprise for some of the things. But um, that's going to be about it, guys. Thank you so much. I know this is quick, but I, I literally did this for like 30 minutes or 30 something minutes before. So I just kind of wanted to get the video out there so more people could check it out. And hopefully this doesn't delete. Because this is the second time it happened. <coughs> this is the second time it happened to me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I did the same exact video at like around 1 o'clock. But if you give me like 10 to 15 minutes when the video is up, I'll have all that stuff. If you're new, please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Maybe Instagram. 
I'm going to stream at least three times a week. If not, you'll definitely see videos. All right, so um, until next time, later. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming. Peace.